Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport, and my wife Sarah came out and helped me today finishing our Faraday cage. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> so we finished up the Faraday cage. Looks like a big solar blanket. Uh, what we did was, so our first layer, we did two layers. So our first layer on the first video you saw where I went horizontally all the way around the unit. And then, so they overlap obviously like I said and they came all the way up to the top here. So horizontal wrap all the way around like the siding like I told you. And then my wife, so kind, came out and we ran perpendicular we ran the aluminum foil over the top all the way around and we overlapped the seams all the way down all the way down all the way down and then obviously we taped all the seams and then we ran another one perpendicular so obviously you can see these ones go vertical and then these go vertical the reason why we didn't tape all the seams 100 percent because we already have the top one so this is one continuous piece that goes all the way over, like I said, and then down the other side, and then we overlapped it onto the floor. Being we didn't want to get up on top of this to tape these seams and, and chance ripping the this layer, um, as you can see, so we overlapped everything. So um, that's the final product right there. And we got our murder machines in there and our welder. Um, Every electrical piece that we had at the shop, angle grinders, tools, everything like I did in the first video. But that's, like I guess it looks like a big, uh, big solar blanket or some kind of space age thing or something. So, and like I said, that's the reason why we didn't tape these seams because we already taped these all the way across. So every one of these seams are taped. And then the horizontal ones, these are all taped on the backside. And then we just ran this as like a second second layer um if you're gonna do this what do you buy 25 rolls right of aluminum foil we have 11 uh rolls left over and so i would say that we probably we had like four 25 square foot right so that was 100 square foot um so if that was four of the 25 yeah, they were 100. And then we had three rolls of the 200 square foot, so that'd be 600. Um, so if we had 14 boxes, that's a lot of aluminum foil. <laughs> 14, 14. So actually it'd be, you got to take four out of there because that was the, the 25 footers, or 25 square footers. So that would be... Um, so you, you want to figure this is probably a thousand square foot, somewhere like that, because we went through that many rolls. So you're going to probably use. Because one 25 square foot roll went just one time. Right. Off, so we would have used. Oh, yeah. So we had the four boxes were 100 square foot. Mm -hmm. So if we had. So, yeah, it's going to be. You're going to take about. Yeah, about a thousand square foot because it would be about 10, 10 boxes of a hundred square foot of aluminum foil, and that's the final product. So we don't know if it's going to work, but I'd rather try and see if it does work because when you if you do do this, do it literally like your life depends on it because. It literally does depend on this because this is those ATVs and all the tools and the generators and so on and so on and our our batteries and everything those those are our lifeline those are definitely our bread and butter so um, if you do decide to do this uh, I'd probably say it's two days of work one day to do all the uh, the pallet the putting all the pallets together cutting and screwing and all that stuff and then um, another day to wrap it and i think would you say the the uh the rolls were four dollars a piece at dollar store or something like that for the 100 square footers so if we use say so it's probably going to cost you 100 bucks in material 
if obviously you can get the pallets for free, um, and they you can typically get pallets anywhere on the road. I mean, or just go to a lumber yard and get them for free. And then the two Make sure 16-foot sure tuba. Huh? Make sure you have lots of Yeah, tape. three rolls probably. Yeah. yeah, three rolls of duct tape. So I'd say with the aluminum foil and the duct tape, probably $100, right? Mm -hmm. So it's about $100 for the, the aluminum foil, the duct tape. And then obviously the pallets are free and the two by sixes were free. And you're going to probably need some screws, obviously, if you don't have them laying around like we did. So I'd probably say about 100 bucks, 125 bucks if you can get the lumber for free to make yourself an ace in the hole. But anyways, say bye. bye. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.